What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and Our Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcasts. Info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah, we out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, homie. That's, That's what's, what's up. up. Yo. Welcome, welcome. Hey, you got the intro. All we need to do is proceed. It's me, your man, so touch the poet up in this joint. Yes, sir. Tone so relax up in here with you. Yeah, man. So um so that conversation that we had earlier, uh about old boy in Baltimore who murdered his uh girlfriend, pregnant girlfriend, and then went and murdered his ex-wife. Um, I know we did a topic about when love turns deadly. I think that was the, the, the name of that topic. Yeah, it was. But, um, you know, I think this this situation that happened ha- has has given us a little more food for thought when it comes to this overall topic. What you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, for that particular situation, um, the wife actually murdered her husband and then uh, committed suicide. Mm -hmm. In this particular situation, this uh, gentleman murdered his first wife. Wait a minute. No, he murdered his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, who was actually pregnant at the time. And then he went and murdered his ex-wife and then committed suicide. Um, There were several circumstances around that particular situation. Um, I'm sure people have heard about it by now. You know, if you haven't, it's out there. We're not going to mention any names. You know, that's not what we do here, but we can't speak on the situation. But, uh, Anyway, the gentleman had been fighting through legal uh, altercations with his ex-wife. And then he, you know, got into a relationship where he got his new girlfriend pregnant. And for whatever, you know, reasons, that relationship also turned sour. And she was basically from what the story is saying, was threatening him with the same type of tactics that his first wife was. Mm. But, uh, again, we don't we don't have all the inside details. We weren't there. We weren't, you know, a part of the, the party. We're just giving you the circumstances and the information that we have. Mm. Um, I'm not sure I heard about that. The girlfriend... Um, pretty much giving him the same kind of stress that he got from his first wife. But being, if if that is like seriously part of the situation, then one has to ask, you know, what was going on with him to have the current girlfriend reacting or acting in a way that the, 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 the ex-wife was because for me, when I look at something like this, um, as a man, and, and as you would, you know, we was talking earlier, you was like, everybody has their breaking points and, and oh boy, in the, in the video said he had his breaking, you know, he's pushed her limits and everything, but as a man, you know, and, and, and as I said earlier, 
I don't want to put the blame on the man or the woman in any situation that's even remotely related to this that doesn't even turn tragic. But as right. a man or even as a woman, you have to be aware, cognizant of what you are con- contributing to a situation. And what I mean by that is if you see that you're in a toxic situation, um, don't add fuel to the fire, walk away. Um, if you walk away from a toxic situation and, and, you know, because you walk away, things start getting crazy. Don't entertain it. Uh, I know for some people it's easier said than done, but at the end of the day, you just have to think about what's good for your peace of mind. And, and another thing is, and a lot of people say this, you never give anyone that much power over you, regardless of what's going on. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, I, I take your stance when it comes down to placing blame. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't judge, you know, someone else because I'm not walking in their shoes, obviously. But in certain situations, I can judge a situation. And in this particular situation, I believe that, one, uh, you are the person who makes your life choices, right? All right. You're the one who say, yes, this will fly, or no, that won't fly. Mm-hmm. Um, in this particular situation, this gentleman, he chose both of these young ladies. Now, whether these young ladies were actually good women or straight up women, I don't know. Um, They could be very toxic. I don't know. But in the end, this gentleman made his choice Mm -hmm. and he chose these two women. Now, what within him made him make that choice or make those choices, I don't know. But I totally agree with you. When you find yourself in a toxic situation, you have to be man enough, woman enough, um, to walk away mm-hmm. and I know it hurts oh, yeah. especially when there are kids involved that's the most tragic thing about any situation when it comes down to relationships when you find yourself having to walk away um, sometimes you, you're fortunate enough that the other person is willing to okay let's put our personal differences to the side and let's be adults about the situation that we have, this life we have created and brought into this world together. Mm -hmm. But again, that's in the ideal world where people will actually be mature enough to do that. Right. Yeah. So again, the point that I'm making here is you have to be logical enough. You have to be brave enough. You have to stand up for yourself and be in charge of your own mental health and get the hell away from toxic situations. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing that that truly bothered me about this particular situation and any situation that's remotely close to it, I kind of have no compassion, no mercy, or no forgiveness towards him. Um, off the break, I don't respect anything that he did, period, because that was just too much. But in the event that it didn't turn so tragic, let's just say nobody died, nobody lost their life, life or anything like that. Right. I have no respect for him because... The problem that I have with a, with a lot of situations where, where you know, people are feuding with their significant others, ex or over children or something like that. Why jump on social media as if that's going to help? Um, you know, because the one person jumping on social media is telling one side of the story. And... And one problem that we have with that, especially in today's times with the way social media rolls is people jump on a bandwagon and 
add fuel to that fire and courage and this, that, and the other. Um, so that kind of like motivates people to do be extreme. Um, I know when I watched that video, he said, what's up to one of his homeboys was said something on the live or whatever. And he was like, yeah, you already know or something like that. But again, it's, it's one side of the story and social media is not going to help you resolve that situation unless somebody's like, yo, you need to chill out, you know, call me, talk to me, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, social media is just not the place for that because you're already on social media and you're not, you're not acting rational. And that just perpetuates the situation and, and makes it worse. Yeah, I mean, I, I get um, where you're coming from with that. Social media is not going to make it better. Uh, again, I can't pretend that I know what this man was thinking, but me just, you know, taking in the information I've been given, I think that he is coming from a place of hurt. He is coming from a place of he's not thinking rational. He's thinking, you know, for the lack of a better term, not in his better mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say crazy, but All right. this is what it, it <laughs> right. shaped up to be. In a nutshell. So, yeah. Um, but I think he was coming from a place where he wanted to 